Plant and animal cells share many similarities since they are eukaryotes and have a membrane-bound nucleus, okay. Plant cells are often larger, but eggs, yes, their cells win this contest. An unfertilized ostrich egg of all known cell types is largest. Let's discuss similarities between plant and animal cells, starting with the fact that both cell types have membrane-bound organelles. They both have endoplasmic reticulum and a nucleus. Mitochondria, peroxisomes, and Golgi apparatus. Cytoplasm and cytosol are in animal and plant cells. Cytoplasm includes everything inside counting organelles, while cytosol also includes everything except for the organelles. Both have a cell membrane, a semi-permeable division, which lets the cell control its biochemistry with precision. The nucleus stores genetic information as DNA. It's the boss and keeps all cell processes running smoothly. Hooray! Mitochondria do aerobic respiration. They produce ATP from glucose energy currency the cell can use. Endoplasmic reticulum helps to produce and store proteins. Ribosomes cover a VR, translate RNA to proteins. The R makes lipids and peroxisomes metabolize waste. Meanwhile, the Golgi apparatus modifies proteins with haste. Now let's discuss differences between plant and animal cells. A cell yellow cell wall surrounds the plasma membrane of plant cells. It provides stability and protection and it makes them angular. No cell wall means animal cells are more round and irregular. Another difference is how cell types obtain their energy. Plants are autotrophs, which means that they produce their own food, you see. While animals are heterotrophs, meaning ingesting their food is key. Plants photosynthesize to produce sugars, which they break down, boom, but to produce energy, animals other life must consume. To get sugar, which mitochondria break down for production of ATP, the energy unit the cell needs to function. Plants are autotrophs because chloroplast organelles are present. Photosynthesis starts with photons caught by chlorophyll pigment. One more difference is that vacuoles in plant cells can occupy up to 90% of a cell's volume. They hold a supply of the plant's nutrients. They fill space and have digestive function. And these vacuoles also provide some room for plant waste destruction. Animal cells can also have vacuoles, but each is far less vast. Each cell has many, but together they take less space. In contrast, plant and animal cells also have cytoskeleton contents. Microtubules, intermediate filaments, and microfilaments. Centrioles, MTOCs in animal cells are on display, but only in lower plant forms such as Chlamydomonas. K plants lack centrioles, but have many small nucleation sites, by the way. Some animal cells have flagella, plants can have them on gametes, while plants often have none. Many animal cells have cilia fleets. Respiratory system cilia remove debris and mucus. Female reproductive system cilia helps worm to the egg. The animal, animal cells, cells have clearly defined lysosomes. Some plant cells, my plants have plasmodesmata. Animals have gap junctions, alright. <laughs>